What's up, everybody? I'm Alan Sislowski, and thanks for tuning in to Roster Watch. Fantasy players are fickle. Let's face it. If you were high on a player in one year, they disappoint you, we're all prone to adding that player to our do not draft list the following season. That is a mistake that experienced fantasy football players learn mostly the hard way. It is often that last year's bums can represent a great value in fantasy drafts in the current season. Today we're going to go over a short list of players that are ideal bounce back candidates and can be of great value to you in 2020 fantasy football drafts. First player I want to talk to you about is Brandon Cooks on the Houston Texans. Brandon Cooks is currently going as the wide receiver 36, getting drafted in approximately the 10th round of most 12 team leagues. Now, it's not too long ago, Brandon Cooks put together four consecutive 1,000 yard seasons. He certainly had the benefit from catching passes from elite quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Drew Brees, but with Houston, he's going to have that luxury again with an elite passer like Deshaun Watson. Now, if we apply Brandon Cooks's yards per target of around 9.4 over the last handful of years, and he's projected to get around 115 to 125 targets, that still gets Brandon Cooks to around 1,100 yards. He could safely be projected for about four to six touchdowns, and that makes for a great value in the 10th round. In a market where the running backs are getting pushed up the board and everybody is having to get running backs early, Brandon Cooks makes for an ideal wide receiver target and a bounce back candidate at his current ADP. The next player I'm going to talk to you about is T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts. T.Y. Hilton's current ADP is 110 wide receiver 27. That means he's going in around the ninth round of most 12-team drafts. Now, it was a perfect storm of bad for T.Y. Hilton in 2019. Andrew Luck abruptly retired. Replacement quarterback Jacoby Brissett did a decent job in plug-and-play and filling in, but it certainly was a big drop-off from Andrew Luck. Now, in his limited action in a season that was marred by injury, T.Y. Hilton still managed to put together 45 catches, 500 yards, and a five-touchdown line. But let's go back to the beginning of the season when T.Y. Hilton was healthy. The first three games of the season, he averaged over 20 fantasy points per game in PPR leagues and scored four touchdowns in that time. Now, T.Y. Hilton's entering his age 30 season, and his game is more predicated on speed. So that tends to age well. He's about 5'10 and 185 pounds, and receivers of that build tend to age better than the Calvin Johnsons or Andre Johnsons do. T.Y. Hilton makes for a great bounce-back candidate and a wide receiver that has top 24 upside that you can get in the ninth round of your fantasy drafts. I just want to take a minute to let everybody know what's going on over at rosterwatch.com. The 2020 Rosterwatch Ultimate Draft Cheat Sheet is available now at rosterwatch.com. The revolutionary cheat sheet that changed fantasy football forever is back only at rosterwatch.com. The rosterwatch.com Ultimate Draft Cheat Sheet. All you need to do is follow three simple rules. That's it. Three rules. It couldn't be any easier and an expert quality fantasy football draft is guaranteed. The Rosterwatch Ultimate Draft Cheat Sheet, available now at rosterwatch.com. The last player I want to talk to you about is Ben Roethlisberger of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger is currently being drafted in the 14th round of most 12-team leagues. That's about QB 16 overall. Let's remember, going back to 2018, the last time we saw a healthy Ben Roethlisberger, that he led the league in passing yards and passing attempts. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers offense admittedly collapsed without Penn Roethlisberger in 2019, but they're still loaded with high upside young talent at the pass catching positions. They even brought in Eric Ebron, a tight end that is prolific in the red zone to help stabilize that position. Ben Roeth Roethlisberger is 38 years old and by all offseason reports is healthy enough to start week one. If Ben Roethlisberger can return to form, he still represents amazing high upside top 10 value at the position. Everything lines up well for Ben Roethlisberger, and he's a prime bounce back candidate in 2020. Okay, Roster Watch Nation, that's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe to get notifications when we go live, and leave us a comment in the video. We will comment back. Until next time, goodbye.